Hi friends, it's Mrs. Mers here in her house and you are in your house and guess what? This is our last video. Two months ago, Mrs. Torish and I started telling stories in our house for you to watch in your house and guess what? We made it to the end. Pat on the back, pat on the back, give yourself a pat on the back. We did it. We learned new things and heard new stories and made crafts and worked hard. And guess what? We made it to the end of the preschool year. I'm so proud of you. Almost all of you are four now. Great job. And we've learned so much and we've grown so much. And pretty soon you're gonna come to the preschool and drive by. We're gonna get to wave goodbye to each other. Be so happy to see your spaces. So Mrs. Merce decided she's gonna end story time just how she started story time with a piggy and an elephant book. Today because of our drive-by I thought it would be great to read Let's Go for a Drive with our friends Piggy and Elephant. And because we have read so many Piggy and Elephant books, we know that Mo Willems is the author. He writes the words and he's also the illustrator. He draws the pictures. Great job, we've learned so much. So let's go for a drive. And on Friday, we're gonna go for a drive and see each other at preschool and wave goodbye and be proud of all the things we've learned this year. There's Piggy and Elephant driving in all types of vehicles. Let's go for a drive. Piggy, I have a great idea. Let's go for a drive. That sounds fun. Drive, drive, drivey, drive. It's fun to get in the car and go on the road, isn't it? Wait, Gerald says. If we're going on a drive, we're going to need a plan. A plan, Piggy says. It's always a good idea to have a plan. First, we need a map. A map? I have a map, says Piggy. Get the map, says Gerald. You need a map to tell you where to go. You can't drive without a map, says Gerald. I have the map. Piggy's got it, see? Drive, drive, drivey, drive. Map, map. Wait, uh-oh, they have another problem. It might be sunny when we go for a drive. Hmm. We need sunglasses. I have sunglasses. Get those sunglasses. Bringing sunglasses on a drive is smart planning. I have the sunglasses. Piggy's wearing her sunglasses. Mrs. Torsh and I wear our sunglasses when we're out at the playground. Do you have sunglasses? Drive, drive, drivey, drive. Sunglasses, sunglasses, sunglasses. Wait, it might rain while we're on our drive. Hmm, now what are they gonna need? We need umbrellas. What does Piggy say? I have umbrellas. So Gerald's gonna say, get those umbrellas. Make a plan and stick to it. That's what I say. I have the umbrellas, says Piggy. Drive, drive, drivey, drive. Umbrellas, umbrellas, umbrellas. Wait. 
right. We have so much stuff to pack. Oh my goodness, look at all that stuff. Umbrellas and sunglasses and maps. <gasps> wow, that's a lot of stuff. We need bags. I have bags, says Piggy. Get those bags, says Gerald. <gasps> you cannot go wrong with a good plan. Oof, wow. Small Piggy has a lot of big bags. I have the bags. Mm. She's really struggling in there. <gasps> drive, drive, drivey, drive. Bags, 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 bags. They're getting ready. Wait a minute. There will be a lot of driving on our drive. Hmm. What do you need when you're going on a drive? We need a car. You are forgetting about the car. Hmm. They look like they have a problem. We need a car, said Gerald. Piggy's not moving. Um, Piggy, do you have a car? No. I'm a pig. And a pig with a car would be silly. Just tell him the truth. Do you have a car? I do not have a car, said Gerald. Because an elephant with a car would be silly too. Oh no! We have everything for our drive, but what are they missing? Except the car! Oh, they look so sad. Our plans are ruined. Oh, they look so sad. What are we going to do now? Hmm, Piggy has an idea. We could play pirates. Who needs a plan when you have a pig as a pal? Arr! Look, they decided to play pirates instead of going for the drive. Oh, and there they are on their pirate ship. And if you look closely in every Mo Willems book, there's Pigeon. So there's a great lesson in this book, friends. Sometimes, despite all the planning, the plan just doesn't go the way you want it. So you have to do a switcheroo, and you have to be flexible, and the plans have to change. And guess what? That's what we did this year in preschool. We did a switcheroo, we started learning in school, and guess what? We did it. So pat on the back, pat on the back, one last pat on the back. Great job, friends. I love you very much, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.